today i am showing you this 27 years old male who was high myope with vision counting finger in the right eye and 660 in the left eye best corrected vision in the right eye was 618 with minus 12 and in the left eye was 69 with minus 8 so he underwent clear lens extraction in the left eye with plus 12 diopter sphere intraocular lens a year ago so now he is pseudo phakic as you can see in the left eye and phakic in the right eye today we will perform clear lens extraction of the right eye i will show step by step how you perform clear lens extraction chances of retinal detachment are high in high myopes especially after yag capsulotomy and even after cataract surgery especially if PCR occur during procedure so it is better better to consult the patient for 360 degree peripheral retinal photocoagulation either before or after clear lens extraction to minimize the chances of retinal detachment in high myopes examine the fundus thoroughly and rule out any pre-existing retinal degenerations and holes or breaks and address that issue beforehand do b scan rule out posterior staphylomas do iol calculations by iol master or any form of optical biometry is more accurate than ultrasonic which we use in routine look at the tilted disc myopic crescent retinal atrophy in this patient you should explain the procedure very well its complications before or after retinal laser so we have done biometry of the right eye and its number was plus 8 diopter sphere always do the surgery under topical anesthesia because the axial length is elongated so under topical anesthesia I am, do, I am doing main port construction with 2.8 FACO knife and as the pupil is not dilated proper so intracameral adrenaline you can see the pupil is dilating now you can put tripan blue to stain the anterior capsule for better visualization now with irrigating cannula remove the air and the stain now put the viscoelastic to deepen the anterior chamber I make two ports at 3 and 9 o'clock the one on the right ha hand I used to do capsulorexis and this one on the left it's a little bit enlarged and I do fine irrigation, irrigation aspiration now I am making cystitome you can see the bends in opposite direction and we will proceed towards the capsulorexis tell the patient to look towards the light very slowly and gently proceed with capsulorexis you should make sure that you don't complicate the case you make circular smooth capsulorexis like here here i am doing and it should not become radial and you should also tell the patient not to squeeze or and now after capsulorexis i am doing hydra hydro dissection it should be very gentle because the annules are also weak in myopic patients so very gentle visco uh, hydro dissection 
and now the lens was very soft in this patient so all the lens we aspirated with this irrigation aspiration cannula we had a FACO machine well prepared but the lens was very soft so we did not require the glow was not good because of chorioretinal degenerations very gently we are aspirating the lens matter you should take care not to cause posterior capsular rupture because then the chances of retinal detachment becomes extremely high and you should also very gently aspirate the cortical matter and the nuclear matter because you may damage the zanules as well very slowly we have we are removing the nuclear sheets the cortical sheets never be in a hurry in such complicated cases like and always do it under topical anesthesia especially the high myopes because if you do it under local anesthesia you may perforate the globe and cause retinal detachment we have implanted the intraocular lens foldable into the bag and you should also counsel the patient that you should not undergo egg capsulotomy before 360 degree retinal laser barrage so we have implanted the IOL into the bag try to gently try gently remove the if there are some sheets because now you have got the intraocular lens support and remove all the viscoelastics at the end you can put intracameral antibiotic cefuroxime so in conclusion a very high myopes they are very happy patients after cataract, cataract surgery because they live with such high numbers minus 8 minus 10 minus 12 and even if there is little refractive surprise post up they happily accept that and they are extremely happy patients after cataract surgery but you should know how to perform clear lens extraction and you should know how to avoid post-op retinal detachment and other complications so that was all about the clear lens extraction i hope you have learned something thank you very much